Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I am having a very lazy day. So yesterday um, I did not complete my planner for the day. I had a lot of errands to run, so I did do all of that. And then I just did not play with my planners for the rest of the day. So I'm going to kind of just do my normal update that I would do, fill in yesterday and then get today laid down. I did go to Michael's yesterday and I bought a couple of things. So I got the Disney princess discs. So I think I'm going to put them into here, take out these darker pink ones and put in the lighter pink ones. And then this is a personal size disc bound that I made, which is some moleskin lined paper. So I think I'm going to switch out the discs to this and then I'm going to add more filler paper, but I'll cut that down off camera. Um, I got some of the brush pens, the pink and the blue. I really like those. I got the purple and the green, like the teal um, Pilot G2 metallic gel pens. I was at Target and I got these. Now, I used to have the Uniball 207 gel pens and I hated them. The ink was super dry. They were scratchy. I just did not like them. So I did notice recently at Target that they have these. These are the 207 Plus and it says that it's Uni Super Ink Plus and it's Nano Fiber Ink and it says it's super enhanced smoothness, drying speed, and line intensity. So I did pick them up. Um, they actually do write nicely compared to the old 207s. <clears throat> so I'm going to take a piece of scratch paper and I will just write in them. I was at Michael's and I hate how they don't have anywhere for you to test the pens. So I had my notebook with me. So I pulled this out and literally I was testing all of the pens while I was at Michael's. So these here, these have a very nice smooth ink to it. So if you like Uniball, Uniball is my favorite pen brand. Um, my favorite ballpoint is the Jetstream. And I like the capped version because I don't like keeping a retractable pen in a planner because if it pushes, it's going to get on my leather cover. So that's what I worry about with that. Um, but I do like to keep them at home and just in my bag in like a pen case. So these write very nicely. If you did see these, you were interested in these, I will say that the ink has greatly improved over the regular 207s. So if that's something that you like, I say go for it because those are really an improvement. So this is my notebook that I have been using just for like lists and I like to decorate and just make them pretty to have something nice to look at. So this was like a things to do today, a household cleaning list. Um, this was just on the go writing. I had no washi tape with me or anything like that. So for tomorrow, I'm going to set up a page in here. So again, I'm gonna do these off camera later. Um, if you follow me on Instagram at Barbie Loves Pens and Paper, um, I do share a lot of my story. I shared about this. Um, creating that. It was a fiasco with the other cover that I was going to use, but I made it work. So I'm going to find some washi tape that I want to use for my to-do list for tomorrow. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I guess I can use this one. So this one here has like uh, ca different cages, different types of birds. So this is just to brighten up my paper and just to give it something nice to look at. I always tear my edges, so <clears throat> they're never perfect. So that will just go across the bottom. So then I will take, um, let's see. I just have to reach across because I have stuff all over the place. So this one here, I use like this nice teal that is in the color of the birds. This is my Tombow brush pen and I never use the thin side of the pen. I always use like the brush tip. So I'm just going to write, I always like to have the day of the week, the month, and what is tomorrow? 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to go here. I think it's the 24th, but I honestly do not even know. Yes, tomorrow, that was Friday. So I actually didn't even do anything in Saturday in my planner at all. So today, so the 24th. And the year. So just to give it another color to go along with that, I will do like this red just to like, well, it's kind of like pinky, but it's a pretty color just to kind of do that. So then I can continue with the brush pen, um, <clears throat> the two that I chose. Let me just move that. So tomorrow, I mean, I don't have anything major planned. I have my meeting at 1 p.m. on Zoom. And I have to pick up my friend. Pick up my son. There's not really a lot that I have to do tomorrow. I tried to keep Sundays open so that it can be a family day. So I never really have too, too much to do on that date. Um, but I have my meeting. I have to pick up my friend, pick up my son. So I will do clean the kitchen. Now, when I write this on a daily page like this, it <clears throat> is like a deep cleaning of the kitchen. Like dust, mop, sweep. I don't need to write all of that out because I know what I need to do, but that's my heavy cleaning day in the kitchen. And then that will also be my heavy cleaning day for the bathroom. And I'll do a movie and game night with my son. He goes back to school. He was on vacation this week. Um, so he goes back to school Monday. I go back to the office on Monday. So on Sunday nights, we try to, you know, have like a movie and game night. And then I need to cook family dinner. Now, when I say family dinner, I mean like I'm actually cooking a meal that we will sit down at the table and eat together. My son and I, we usually eat together, but I mean like a big meal, you know, <clears throat> But then I'll leave the rest of the day like open, um, you know, anything that I have to do. So that's kind of like a to-do list that is in here that comes along with me in my purse. And I would just leave it at that. But it's colorful. It's fun. It's something that I enjoy looking at. So then I'll put these pens away. And then the paper in that book is just copy paper. That's it. Okay. So... Today, I did not even, I did not finish, yet, finish yesterday, so <clears throat> I'll do that off camera, but today, I did not even set up today, so what I normally will do, and I do not spend a lot of time on my setups, um, I really don't, so it's basically just, I throw something together quickly and just roll with it, whatever it comes out as, so I kind of wanted to use my purple and my teal, but I'm not really seeing any washi. It's jumping out at me. This one has purple in it and some gray. I'll just use this one. So this is some floral washi that I had gotten on Amazon. Um, they came in packs. I just typed in floral washi and I just picked a pack and purchased it. A lot of my washi I've literally had since like 2014, 2015. Um, I do notice that when I go to pull for those, when I start opening it, you know, unraveling it, like unrolling it, whatever. I, I, I did not sleep well last night, so that's why I'm getting such a late start on all of this today. Um, but there are some that I've had for a really long time. So when I go to like peel it, like this one here, it is completely like dry and it will not peel. Um, and if it does peel, it breaks. It doesn't give me a smooth pull. And then when I touch over here, it's really sticky. So I need to go through my washi and that will end up in the trash. So what I will do 
is I'm going to take out my regular sticker book. Oh, and I also got this on clearance at Michael's for five bucks. It's the Recollections Wild and Cheek sticker book. So this is my normal everyday book that I go to first. So I need a weather sticker. So what I would start off is up at the top of the page, I would pick my color that I want as the main color for the day. Um, I mean, I try to match them, but I don't try to do it perfectly. So today is Saturday. April 23rd, 2022. These are brand new, so it has like the wax tips. So then I just underline with the other color. I will come in and I will grab a sticker for the weather. Today was weird. It was like one of these cloudy and sunny days. It was super sunny this morning. And then it rained a little bit this afternoon and then it cleared up. It's New England. I live in Massachusetts, so it's always crazy weather. So then I just write in here weather forecast today. And today was like sunny and cloudy. And then I do the high and the low. Now my watch died, so I will have to look that up after because I'm recording from my phone. So I'll fill that in. And then what I do for this side of the page, and this is kind, this is how my system goes. Just every day, this is how it is. So then I will come and I will choose colors. So I think I wanna do like this light, light teal, and then this purple here. So because I wrote in teal last, I will put the teal sticker, try to skip a line or two. So I'll put the light teal and then I'll write with the purple and then I just alternate them. Now I don't edit my videos. Um, so you're in real time with me. So I do this down the whole entire page and basically like this is my running to-do list. <clears throat> and one more purple down the bottom. Okay, so that is like my main setup over here and then I will start filling stuff in. Um, I'll refer to my son as Nene. Um, Nene with his dad today. Um, and then I had to do a few errands, so I went to Michael's for pens and paper. I went to eat lunch with my friend. Where else did we go? We went to Ulta. I needed shampoo and conditioner. Now, do I really need to write this stuff down? No, but this, if you're a planner girl and you're looking up planner videos, it's because you plan for a reason. My reason is it allows me to be creative. It allows me to function, give myself like a memory book to look back on later. So I went to Ulta, I went to Walmart, and I just got um, household items and like toiletry type stuff. So then I will just fill the rest in later, but that's kind of like what I put over there. And then I'll look through and I'll see if there's any stickers that kind of match what I did for the day. I did go shopping. I did not really do any chores today yet. Um, 
it's not trash day nothing really corresponds with those so these are kind of like all the same over here as far as you know just filling in like things that you did um sometimes i put words and then like over on this side um a lot of times i'll use these and you know if i have stuff to do sometimes it will be repetitive but um a to-do list remember important there was really nothing that I had to absolutely 100% do today. So here's a little get it done. Um, treat yourself. I'm going to put this at the bottom of the page because I had reached out to somebody to see if they had any undyed leather because I want to jump on the undyed train and try one out um so i reached out if she doesn't have any then i'll make my purchase with another company that i have one in my cart waiting so that will be happening today um not happening i can tell you we'll be cleaning up this house that will get done tomorrow i mean obviously like basics i get done but like deep cleaning i'm just gonna do that tomorrow um, me time will be playing in my planner and filming for my channel. Um, there's really like nothing else that I did. Um, I mean, I can put in like a purple, get it girl, because... I went out with my friend, we hung out. And then, you know, I can just fill those up. So that is basically how my daily setup occurs every single day. Um, <coughs> it always looks the same, washy at the top and the bottom, the date, the weather, any, you know, to-dos for the day, things like this. As you can see, kind of, I wanted to go colorful yesterday, so I've got all the colors indicated with fruit those are all from this book um does the fruit mean anything no it's just a way for me to color code and just switch up the colors so that was the mindset with that so my journal i will go in privately later and fill those in for saturday and oh, today is saturday i keep thinking it's sunday um for friday and saturday and then probably within the next couple of days i will start in on may um, just filling stuff in, drawing out my first and my second weekly. Um, dailies I don't touch until the day of. So that will be like my to-do list is done. My planner is done. This is my faith book. But this would be something that I would need to go longer into. Um, I would also touch my journal prompt book now for April. I decided to go with the theme of grief um, because I did lose my mother in February, on February 21st. So it really is helping me process a lot. Um, this I am doing two pages per day. Um, obviously this is all very personal, so I would not show any of these pages, but I've been in this book since November doing journal prompts. Um, I started it off as a planner and then I said, no, I'm just going to do this. So then I started just writing in it. And then for November, I figured out what I wanted to do with it. So it became my journal prompts book. So I'll indicate the month and then I will print out what my prompts are. And then I usually do one page per day. So that was all of November. December was self love journal prompts. So all of those were filled in. January was just, you know, um, January journal prompts. What was your first meal of the year? Choose a word for the year and explain why. So, I mean, it was just kind of different things, nothing specific. Um, my mother ended up in the hospital at the end of January. So that's when things kind of fell apart for me. Um, February turned into February and March because my mother was getting worse and then she eventually passed. So... 
it went February 1st, 2nd, and then March 3rd. And then I finished it out for March and then my grief prompts. So for me, I don't know what I am going to do yet. Um, I'm really not sure. I don't really celebrate holidays, you know, traditionally. So May is going to be a hard month for me. So I may do another grief um, type of prompt, but I'll do one page per day this time um, because May it will be my first Mother's Day without my mother. And then also what would have been her birthday is the end of May. So it's just, I, I might just do a memory per day of my mom. I, I'm just not sure yet. I have a little bit of time to think it over, but this is something that I would not do on camera. Um, the, and then the last thing that I touch usually on a daily basis would be my Vanderspeck A6 that I just got in. Um, so this here, I use for lists, different things. I had a to-do list going in here yesterday. Um, you know, just, I like to play with pens. I like to play with paper. I like to decorate. So me just creating a list in five different books, that works for me. It may not work for you. It's comforting to me. And honestly, as you can see, my setups do not take me a long time. So I could do all of this within 10 to 15 minutes and be done with it. Um, I do like to play in different sizes in, in different books. So this one I didn't really play in today. Um, and I may not, and that's fine. Um, I do want to set up a personal wide. I have one set up already, but I may pull it off the shelf. Um, but I don't know. I need to find out about the undyed because I do want to get that purchased. So I will stop this video here. Um, but I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for, you know, tuning in. And as I said in my last video, I am getting more comfortable doing this. So I will do more videos. They will not be edited. Unfortunately, I don't have the time for that. Um, you know, I just, I wish I did, but I don't. So you'll hear me talk throughout the whole thing. Um, I will eventually learn how to do voiceovers because I don't know how to do those right now. Um, so yeah, but thank you for watching and one video, I do get a lot of questions on pens. So one whole entire video will be dedicated just to pens. I promise you guys have a great day and thanks for watching.